you for joining me for today's video. For this craft, we are doing embroidered handkerchiefs using the Makery's embroidery machine. We're doing this in celebration of National Sewing Month. And in the month of September 2021, we have a limited number of kits available for this project. So if you are an Elmhurst resident, you can give us a call and see if we have a kit available and claim it and set it aside for you to use. The kit includes two handkerchiefs for you to embroider, um, and then it includes the cost of the stabilizer and the thread. If you're unable to get a kit, no worries. You can still do the project. You just have to bring your own handkerchiefs um, and either pay for the stabilizer and thread yourself or bring your own. Uh, in the kit, we supplied two white handkerchiefs. I recommend using the first one as a practice piece. You always want to have a practice piece with you in case something goes wrong. And then the stabilizer we're using in the video is a medium weight cutaway, but you can also use a heavyweight tear away. And then we have a, a, a selection of colors for machine embroidery thread. And uh, machine embroidery thread is different than all purpose sewing thread. And we normally sell the stabilizer for $1 a foot and the thread for 10 cents per 1000 stitches. We also have the monograms uh, ready for you. So these you can use if you come in, um, even if you're bringing your own supplies. And so we have the, this uh, decorative letter that includes a rose in it for the whole alphabet. And we sized it for two inches. So you can see it here. This one's a pretty big one. And then we also sized it for one inch, which is the size that I recommend doing. It fits nicely on your pocket hanky so you can do a pocket square. You can, if you want, create your own design or um, use designs preloaded on the machine. So for instance, in one of the corners, I stitched the initials EPL for Elmhurst Public Library uh, to customize my hanky a little bit more. Um, so this was just a built-in font available on the machine. Um, there's also borders available and some other decorative stitches. Or you can buy a design and bring it in. Um, for the files, it has to be .pes. That is the file type that the embroidery machine uses. So here you can kind of see I have my two inch, my one inch, and my small font. And when it's all done, you should have a nice embroidered handkerchief. That can be used as a pocket square. So I'm going to show you how to do that. One of the first things we're going to do is prepare the design. So when you come for your reservation, you're going to let staff know that your reservation is to use the embroidery machine and they're going to ask to see your library card so they can check out the power cables to you. Once the power cables are checked out to you, you can plug them into the machine onto the right side and connect it to the power outlet dangling from the ceiling. And then you're also gonna ask if you can borrow the monogram designs for this project. So we have the monogram stored on this flash drive, ready to go. And we're gonna plug this into the USB port on the right side. With your power cable and USB plugged in, you can turn the machine on. There's an on switch on the right side. It's gonna turn it on. It's gonna tell you that your embroidery unit is going to rehome and go into its start position. So you wanna make sure nothing is on the embroidery machine and we wanna hit okay. Sometimes they'll ask if you wanna use the previous design. If it does ask that, you're gonna hit no. To get to the designs stored on the flash drive, you're gonna press this icon in the bottom right corner. This will open up the USB files and we have the two inch and the one inch monograms pre-designed for you. Anytime you wanna go back, you're gonna hit the back arrow. And if you wanted to, you could create your own monogram using the built-in fonts on the machine and by adding a border. Or you can add other decorative pieces using the options in this menu. So I'm going to choose one of the pre-made monograms. We're going to start with the one inch monogram. So I'm going to press the USB icon. I'm going to tap on one inch. And it's going to show you a preview of all the different lever, uh, letters. 
we're going to use the arrows down here to tap through the options to find the letter you're looking for. For my sample, I'm going to do an E for Elmhurst. So I'm going to tap on the little preview that shows the letter E, and then I'm going to choose Set. This will drop the E into the editing stage. You'll notice that my E looks really tiny and I have this really big rectangle. That rectangle is supposed to mimic the hoop. So in this case, I have the wrong hoop selected. I'm going to go to Settings, and this will open the option to change your hoop size. And the Makery has the 10 by 6 inch hoop, the 5 by 7 inch, the 4 inch by 4 inch, and the one and a half by two inch, or excuse me, the one inch by two and a half inch. So I'm going to use the arrows here to go through the menu until I get to the one inch by two and a half inch. And then I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see here now that my E looks more uh, aligned with the size of the hoop that I'm choosing. So again, this rectangle here mimics my hoop. My one inch monogram fits nicely into that hoop. You'll notice that there's some white space here and that my E is kind of off-centered. What I can do is either click and drag it and move it where I want it, or I can go to the move option and this button will center it back to its original position. And I can use the arrows to center this to my hoop. And so that has it roughly centered. The distance here is about the same. And I'm going to hit OK. If you needed to, you could select the size menu to resize it or the rotate menu to rotate it. And that will be dependent on how you set up your hoop so it lines up the way you want it. Now that my design is set up on the machine, I can go ahead and prepare my hoop. So I'm going to be using the one by two and a half inch hoop. It's our smallest hoop. And it has a screw that tightens and loosens it. So I want to loosen it until it pops out into two parts. I'm going to set one part down. And I'm just going to set the top part aside. And for all embroidery projects, you want stabilizer on the bottom of your fabric. This is a cutaway, um, a medium weight cutaway stabilizer. It's one of the stabilizers I recommend for handkerchiefs. Uh, the other one I recommend is a heavy tear away. And I'm going to lay that on top of the bottom piece of my hoop. And then I'm going to take the section I want to embroider and place it in the hoop. You want to make sure you only have one layer of fabric. If there's two layers of fabric, they'll be sewn together. So one layer of fabric, I want to put my one inch monogram right about here. And so what I'm actually going to do is place it kind of at an angle so that when it lines up on the machine, my E will be in the diamond here, in the square. And then I'm going to take my top piece and I'm going to fit it over top my fabric and push it down. So really, you should have your hoop on the outside and your bottom stabilizer and your handkerchief sandwiched in between. And you want to have as much of your fabric and stabilizer secured around all of the sides as possible. In this case, I'm missing a little bit in these corners, but it's enough to keep it still secured. And what I'm going to do is push my extra fabric out of the way so I can get to the screw. I'm going to tighten it with my hand. And once it gets tight enough where I can't tighten it anymore with my hand, I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and give it a couple more twists to make sure it's nice and tight. So this is what the one by two and a half inch hoop looks like when you have your stabilizer and fabric secured. You'll notice there's no wrinkles. It's secured on all sides or most of the sides. And um, it's nice and tight. There's not any 
loose fabric, too much loose fabric. Um, it's gonna slide in the, into the machine on this side. So the E is gonna line up right in our diamond. So now I have the design prepared on my screen and I also have my hoop set up so it kind of lines up with my design. So what you can see here is that the left side is where the hoop is gonna be. So the left of my E is gonna be here. The top of my E is gonna be up here. The base of my E is gonna be down here. And then the right side of the E is gonna be here. What I can do now is put the hoop in and we're gonna see how it lines up and make adjustments as needed. So to put the hoop in, we wanna make sure that this lock is faced up so we can slide our hoop in. The bobbin should already be in there. Um, if it looks like the bobbin is running low, you can let staff know and we'll replace the bobbin. The bobbin is white thread, and the white thread should not poke through your design when you're doing the embroidery. So we're going to slide the hoop in, and as we slide it in, we just want to make sure that the presser foot and the needle is all the way up, and it's not going to hit the hoop. And once you have it all the way in, you can go ahead and lock the hoop into place. All of your extra fabric, you just wanna let dangle. Um, you wanna make sure it doesn't get in the way of the needle or that it doesn't get caught in the carriage. We're gonna hit the edit end button. We're gonna lower our presser foot. And this button allows us to draw the parameters of the design. This button right here with all the dots is a button that will draw out the borders of your design to see where it lines up on your hoop. So if I tap it, it's actually going to move the icon up over here. And if I tap it again, it's gonna draw out the borders of your design using the presser foot. Move, and if I tap on it again, it's going to draw out where my E's gonna line up. It's kind of hard to see from uh, the camera view, but right now my E is too low. So since my E is too low, I'm gonna hit the OK button and this screen will allow me to move my design. So I'm gonna use the up arrow to move it as far to the top of my hoop as I can. And I'm gonna use that parameters bounding button again to draw out where the borders of my design will be. So now that I have my monogram well centered on my handkerchief, I can select the embroidery icon and this will bring me to the stitching menu. So here on the stitching menu, we can see up at the top the number of stitches and time the project will take. The numbers in black are the total amount. The numbers in red is where you are. So since I haven't started stitching, I'm at zero stitches and zero minutes, but this will be a total of 1,200 stitches and two minutes stitch time. Also, you'll see this little icon that indicates how many spools it has. It will divide your design into different spools based on color and sections. So for this particular monogram, it has the letter colored in green, which is the first thread we're gonna stitch with, and the roses as red, which is the second thread we're gonna stitch with. The machine won't know what color thread you have um, put on the spool holder and threaded the needle with. So you don't have to use green and red. You can use any color combo you want but just know that the, the letter comes first. So whatever color you want your letter to be, that's what you're gonna thread first. So now at this point, I can actually thread the machine. It's telling me that green is the first color. And just to kind of recap, there's a button to lower and raise the presser foot. I wanna make sure the presser foot's all the way up when I start threading the machine. There is also a button to lower and raise the needle. But right now my needle is in the upright position what you're gonna do is take the spool holder off and slide the spool on and put the holder back in place. You wanna make sure that it's a little bit snug so it's not gonna move around and get tangled, but not too snug where it's not unspooling the thread. There are arrows for you to follow for threading your machine. What I recommend doing is holding the thread with your right hand over by the spool so that way you're not constantly unspooling it and you're going to follow the numbers so we're going to go behind this piece 
down and around this metal piece, up, over, and to the left, down and around, back up. And for this piece, you really want to follow the opening um, all the way to the edge and back, from the right to the left, and then back down. Once you have it threaded all the way down to the needle, what you're gonna do is put the thread through this teeny tiny hook piece above the needle. And the best thing to do is to start on the right side and pull all the way to the left. It should be um, directly in that hook. The next thing you're gonna do is rest the thread in the opening of this piece. And then you're gonna rest the thread in the opening above the number seven. So we're almost there. Now that it's sitting in the opening above number seven, what we wanna do is cut off all of our extra thread. So there is a hook back here. And if you pull forward, you can cut off your extra thread. And then you wanna put the presser foot down. And there is a button on the right side. It's number nine in the steps. And you're gonna push it really quickly so that way it um, auto threads the needle for you. So you want it to be swift and quick. If you go too slow or if you don't put enough pressure, it's not gonna thread that needle. And so now our needle is threaded and all I need to do to start the stitching is to press the green button. It automatically stops when it finishes a color or a section. If you're sticking to the same color for the next section, you would just lower the presser foot and continue going. But in my case, I have the letter in a dark green and I want to make my flower a uh, pink rose. So we are going to remove the thread and put in pink and do the next section. embroidery has finished we went ahead and did the rose in a pink what we can do is unlock the hoop and slide it out there is our finished monogram we lined it up pretty well um, the only thing left to do is to snip off some of these loose ends and then also to cut out our stabilizer so this is what the one inch monogram looks like when it's done. We lined it up pretty well in our hoop. So now we're ready to take the hoop out. So I'm just gonna come over to the screw and I'm gonna loosen it. And if you're having a hard time loosening it with your hand, you might wanna grab that flathead screwdriver again and start to loosen it. And you're gonna unscrew until it loosens enough to take the top off and to pull it out of your hoop. Now the only thing left that we need to do is to trim off any loose ends. So I have one little loose end here. I'm just gonna take some scissors and do a quick careful trim. You can also use a seam ripper. Those are a little more exact. And on the back side, we're going to cut away our extra, on the back side, we're going to cut away our extra stabilizer. So this is the cutaway stabilizer that I'm using. If you're using tear away, you can tear it off. You just want to be careful you're not tearing too forcefully because these handkerchiefs are not super firm. And obviously you want to make sure you don't cut into your handkerchief. And I'm going to cut.
cut a couple more loose ends off. And so there we have our embroidered one inch E. So you've seen what the one inch monogram looks like. If you wanted to do the two inch monogram, it's double in size. And so it would be roughly uh, two inches tall by almost two inches wide, which means it's not going to fit our small hoop anymore. So if you want to do the two inch monogram, you're going to have to use the four by four hoop. Something I want to point out. So the four inches is the actual embroidery size. Your design cannot be embroidered all the way to the edge. So the hoop itself is like five inches by five inches, but you don't get to go all the way to the edge for your design. So for this, we are going to loosen our hoop, separate the top and the bottom. We wanna make sure we have our stabilizer and that it covers the entire hoop. And it's gonna go on the bottom side of the fabric and then our fabric on top. And I'm gonna do a similar thing that we did with the one inch. I'm gonna line this up kind of diagonally. So um, the top of my pocket hinky is up at the top. Um, so the corner pieces won't be secured into place. Press this down and tighten it. And for tightening, you're probably gonna need that flat head screwdriver. And so same thing, we wanna make sure that there's not a lot of wrinkles, that the tension is good, and that it's secured as much as possible along all four sides. It is not secured in the corners, but since it's secured on three other sides, um, we should be good here. And so the goal is to put the two inch monogram in this area. So it will be lower from, um, from the corner. It's not gonna be as close to the corner as the other one. So if you wanted to do the two inch monogram, what we wanna do is go to settings and change the hoop to the four by four inch. And then we're gonna go to the USB icon. Um, we're gonna open up the two inch folder and you're gonna find your letter. So it has A through E listed. If you uh, need to go through the rest of the alphabet, you're gonna use these arrows. And we're gonna choose E and set it in. And so there's our, di our example, our diagram of the letter E in our hoop. And so here's our hoop. It's gonna slide in the to, into the machine this way. So this is the left of the E. The top of the E is gonna be up here. The bottom of the E is gonna be here. And then the right side there. So I want it as close to the top as possible. So I'm gonna hit the move button and I'm gonna push it all the way up. That's the only editing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit edit end. I'm gonna slide my hoop in. So I wanna make sure my presser foot and my needle are all the way up. There are the, there's the uh, presser foot button and the needle button to push them all the way up. And we're gonna slide this in on the rail on the left. And as we slide it in, we wanna make sure we're getting under the presser foot and the needle and that we're not jamming it into it. And then we're gonna lock the hoop in place. You want to make sure that all of your extra fabric is nowhere near the needle. You don't want to risk sewing um, fabric together or you want to make sure that the extra fabric isn't going to get caught in the carriage. I'm going to lower my presser foot and so this button here is going to allow me to draw out the outline of my design. So I'm going to press this button and it gonna, it's going to move all the way over here and I'm going to press it again. And it's going to show me where my E monogram lines up. 
It's as close to the edge as I can get it. So I'm going to hit OK because that's the best it's going to be. I'm going to choose the, um, I'm going to hit the embroidery button. And then it's going to tell me how many stitches in total the design is, how many minutes, in this case it'll be four minutes, and how many spools, so there's two spools. The first one's going to be green, and the second one's going to be the red for the flower. And I'm going to thread the machine. So hopefully now at this point you have a finished embroidered handkerchief. This is what my one inch monogram looks like when it's nicely folded. So you can stick it into your pocket coat for a special occasion. Um, yours might look different if you decided to use the two inch monogram or create your own. Um, if you want to show us how yours came out, you can post about it on social media using either hashtag Elmhurst Makery or at Ask Elmhurst. And we hope you enjoyed this craft and it inspires you to do more embroidery designs. Thanks. Have a nice day.